Okay, we're gonna do a really quick, uh, really quick uh, video here. We're looking at uh, ADSB data, looking at it live here. You can see it coming in, coming in pretty quickly here, uh, just to see what's going on. Zoom out a little bit so we can see more planes. There's none directly overhead, but they're over the middle of New Jersey. And I'm collecting data. I've got that running on a Raspberry Pi that's pinging that uh, the REST API that's behind this. We mentioned this is a Python app. Reading that data in gets into a raw topic. We can look at that raw topic up here. That's this ADSB one. We could see data is coming through here. Bunch of data. If we look uh, down here, that's getting processed and set into the aircraft. One, this is the cleaned up data. So that's going into that to one partition. We can see a decent amount of data coming to see was we're sending that. And that's showing up here. That data is coming from here, getting into here. We're using uh, this function here that we show you in the uh, article, deploying it. This is reading that raw data, deserializes that out here, just pretty simple just JSON parsing that, breaking each aircraft data there, adding it to a list. And then when we get that back to our function, we iterate through each one. And if there's an altitude, I don't care about those other records, I'm gonna send a new record out that uses the schema of this aircraft being and the data, set a property there, put a key in there. And it's a simple, uh, Jason Bean with all those fields that we have, just sending that data. And we could see we're running a job in Flink that's doing a simple aggregate. And it's showing us uh, data going on here. And we could see that we've got already 3,000, 4,000 records. Data is coming in really quickly, which is awesome to see. And if we hop into our Flink SQL, we could see that we look here, we've already got three pages of data here. And these are uh, different uh, query we're running here. You can see the query here is uh, max, uh, min, average for these different ones. We've got some different queries if we want to grab them out of the uh, GitHub here. And that's got a lot of details in the GitHub if you want to explore there. You could query this any way you want. You could do a really simple query. Just return a couple fields. If you look here, we have, uh, we describe this that we get from the catalog. This is that topic, the cleaned up one that the function made. And we're just going to launch a new query based on this data that keeps sending in. And that's the same data you're seeing on the screen here on the local uh, display for aircrafts. And we'll see data is coming in. Flink's already getting that back. This is uh, raw data with no min, max, all those sort of things. So that data is coming in pretty fast. As you can see here, we've already got 16 pages of that. So that's a pretty impressive amount of data. And we'll go to here. We can see that old job quit. We got a new one running and deployed already. And this one is chugging through the data. Pretty straightforward. This one's pretty easy. That's it. Pretty easy to run data from where you're getting it here. I'm just running this uh, ADSB run shell that is, uh, you can see here, I'm passing in the topic, the raw data and what cluster. And uh, we have that Python app linked in the code, but this is all it does, calls that REST API, gets it as JSON, UTFs it, adds a key, boom, puts it in the raw data. And then we can process that with Flink or Spark or whatever uh, you want there. Pretty straightforward. Thanks for uh, checking this out. Hopefully you're interested in uh, in running this, uh, this thing we have here. Pretty easy to do. Do it yourself.